Now what I do, I look at the positive things the students have done. I appreciate it first and then talk about the improvement points. I make sure that the student becomes positive through my feedback. Hello everyone, welcome to CNS Speaks. I'm your host, Nimesh. This is the show where I sit down with seasoned Toastmasters with the hope of learning their secrets to success. As our first guest, I'm joined by a very prominent member of the CNA Toastmasters family, the 10th president of the club and educationist by profession. He's a very enthusiastic and supportive mentor to everyone in the club. He's the director of the very first afternoon school in Gampaha the Sumedha Nobel International College, an English language lecturer at Nobel Vision Institute with nearly a decade of experience, an alumni of Anglia Ruskin University and the University of Calendia. He has conducted more than 100 English language development programs for university students, and leadership development programs for corporate professionals. A Toastmaster since 2016, he has won many speech contests at club, area and division level. Is none other than Toastmaster Chamin Ataud. Toastmaster Chamin, thank you for being here. It's great to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me. So, Chamin, today you are a well known speaker uh, and a lecturer. But for the moment, let's go all the way back to the beginning of your Toastmasters journey. Why did you decide to jo join a Toastmasters club? As an English language lecturer, I always want to develop my language skills. I always want to increase my standards. So back in 2016, I was looking for a platform, a place where I can join, I can talk to others, I can communicate with others in English language. I contacted a lot of educational institutions in the country, but they did not have such a program. And finally, I found this platform called Toastmasters International. And I got the contact details of Siena Toastmasters Club. So I visited the club as a guest, attended one of their meetings, and during the very few minutes, I realized that, right, this is the place for me, this is the place I was looking for, and that's how I became a member of Toastmasters International. So when you first joined, what were the uniquenesses you saw in Siena Toastmasters Club? Right. Now, a lot of uniquenesses were there. One main thing is the family culture or the family environment we can see because we say Siena Toastmasters Club is a family. In a family, there are four fathers, four mothers, fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, just like that. In our club also, there are fatherly figures, there are motherly figures and there is a strong bond between each member. It doesn't matter you are a new member or a senior member. We respect each other equally and especially when new members perform, maybe when they deliver speeches, perform roles or play roles, they support, especially the support of senior members is there. So these are some of the uniquenesses I see in our club. That's actually something uh, I've noticed as well as a new member. Right. So, uh, and when you joined the club, you climbed all the way up to the role of president. How was that journey? That was an amazing, it was a wonderful journey. Because I can remember as a new member, the way presidents, vice president of education and the club officers served the club, members, community. It's more than gaining something, it's giving. So I also thought, wow, this is a great opportunity. If I can also become a president, one day, I will also get the opportunity to serve the fraternity and the community. So it was like a dream. It was sort of a dream I had. And eventually, I got the opportunity to become the 10th president of Siena Toastmasters Club in 2019. I got the chance to work with different individuals. Um, there are seven members in, a, in, a, in the EXCO. And I got the chance to work with them and it had been an amazing journey. Wow, that's really inspiring. 
what if I could become someone like them? Is the thought that's running through my mind right now. So you mentioned that Toastmasters is the best platform to improve your public speaking skills. Yeah. So, can anyone become a champion speaker? Yes, anyone can become a champion speaker. However, more than the word champion speaker, because that term is really overused in our fraternity. We say he's a champion speaker, she's a champion speaker. But how I look at it, I always want to become a credible speaker. I like to talk to the heart of the audience or heart of the listeners. So if someone wants to become, let's say, a champion speaker or credible speaker or even great speaker, I firmly believe Toastmasters is the best platform. And you asked about the steps we need to take. I think the very first step is attending club meetings. Although we use the word meeting, it's a knowledge sharing educational session. So you firstly join the meetings and then you get the chance to play roles and deliver speeches. So you do that and then you receive feedback from your fellow members. And we need to have that right mentality to incorporate, listen to their feedback and incorporate, repeat the same. And then you talked about contests. You talked about contests. Yeah. So then firstly, we have club contests. So you take part in them. Then you go to the area level, division level, district level, and then you can go all the way to the international level. So answer to your question, yes, someone can become a champion speaker or a credible speaker. And the best platform for that is Toastmasters. So, you mentioned about the evaluation session in a Toastmasters um, club meeting. Yeah. That kind of brings me neatly along to my next question, which is, uh, how important is this skill to receive and give positive feedback? Right, I think in a lot of professions, every single day we receive feedback and we provide feedback. If I'm talking about my profession as a teacher, as a lecturer, every single day when there is a session, I should provide my feedback to my students. And before I became a Toastmaster, I can remember how I looked at the work of my students. I always saw negative things. That's a term I used to use. Negative things or the things they should improve. So I was like, okay, you need to work on your spelling, grammar, punctuation errors, this and that. And I did not see any of the positive things they had done. But after I became a Toastmaster, I learned the art of providing constructive feedback. And yes, we use a proper structure there. We call it this famous burger method or sandwich model. And there I learned, before we talk about this improvement point, it's better to highlight the positives of that particular performance. If I'm talking about my profession, now what I do, I look at the positive things the students have done. I appreciate it first and then talk about the improvement points. At the end also, I make sure that the student becomes positive through my feedback. After I started to practice this method, I saw how I became a positive person and more than that, how my students started to perform better. So I think that as professionals, this is a key skill and through Toastmasters feedback providing method, we can develop that skill. Can you tell us a bit about how Toastmasters has helped you in your career? Yeah, Nimesh, as a teacher, every time I conduct a session, I become a speaker. Back then, although I knew that I was good at teaching, although I knew I could teach, what I did not know was there is something called public speaking. After becoming a Toastmaster, I started to learn about public speaking. And I knew that using our voice, we can do wonders. In voice, there are a lot of different attributes, like our pitch, power, and then the speed, bringing pauses. After I started to learn them from Toastmasters, I started to apply them through my teaching sessions. And I started to learn, I started to see that I became a better teacher. And as a result, 
I saw how my students started to enjoy my sessions more. And not only that about eye contact, hand gestures, this verbal and non-verbal communication, I learned that there are so many things to learn in public speaking. I learned them from Toastmasters and started to incorporate them in my session. And as a result of that, I improved myself as a teacher, as a speaker. My students started to benefit. Ultimately, what happened, they, are, they performed, they started to perform well in the exams and whatever the sessions they do. So yeah, because of Toastmasters, I have gained numerous benefits and these are some of them. Toastmaster Chamin, once again, I have to thank you for coming here today. I know you are a very busy person. So thank you for sparing us some time. I think this was a great conversation. It's my pleasure.